So for Bernie Sanders supporters, tonight, March 15th, was a tough night. But I'm going to explain why it's not time to lose heart. A revolution of this magnitude is not something that's necessarily easy to accomplish overnight. It may require patience. If we look at the results, Bernie Sanders has clearly won over the youth vote. Uh, not just people who haven't yet gotten their free public college yet, but many people uh, younger than 45. His message is beginning to make its way into the black community. His message is already resonating with the Latino community. Uh, of the states that voted tonight, we did better in North Carolina than I expected, 40 percent to 55, uh, which is better than we've seen in the other southern states. Uh, Florida was probably a little bit worse than I thought it would be, 33, 64, something like that. Uh, Ohio definitely was uh, worse. Th that was probably the one place it was the toughest to take, which was about 40 to 55. Uh, Illinois was basically a tie, but unfortunately, even a small margin will probably add a couple of delegates to uh, the winner, uh, further distorting uh, our democracy, because this whole delegate system is a way of separating us from the one person, one vote principle, and the superdelegate system much worse than that. So the future is ours. If we can take this progressive campaign and move it forward uh, beyond Bernie Sanders in this election. But even in this election, uh, Bernie has approximately uh, 700 and, uh, let's see here, I've got the exact figures, uh, something in the neighborhoods of uh, 300 uh, uh, delegate margin towards Clinton, about 750 for Sanders, about 1050 for Clinton. They need about 2050 uh, to get all the way there. Therefore, of the remaining 2,000 delegates, Sanders would need 1,300 roughly. Clinton, 900, would have to be kept to 900. This would require 60, 40 votes in pretty much every state. There's also the possibility of a third party run. So um, bear in mind that a lot has been accomplished and that we mustn't give up and that we must continue forward. Uh, this campaign is a platform about changing American politics fundamentally. And um, the problem is <laughs> there are very few people with the record of Sanders because what we had happened with Obama is he said all many nice things, although his p plans weren't concrete in the fashion that Sanders are. Uh, uh, but then what he's done is he has exported more weapons overseas than uh, virtually any president in history, many of them to repressive dictatorships that are right-wing monarchies, Saudi Arabia, uh, uh, Qatar. Uh, uh, we have effectively ended up uh, through Bush and Obama, through the American military industrial establishment's actions have created a jihadist uh, uh, playgrounds in Iraq and Syria and Libya. Libya, according to an anti-Gaddafi activist, is now effectively run in the West by Al-Qaeda and, of course, in the center by the Islamic State. Uh, so what we got with Sanders was somebody who had a record we could verify. It wasn't just change we could believe in, it was change we could verify in the same way that Ron Paul, uh, who had uh, domestic policies that were deeply confusing to uh, progressive-minded people who nonetheless supported him because he had deep integrity and he was willing to stop the war machine. Uh, so we were willing to consider a model of small government uh, based on anti-corruption uh, and he had an alliance with people like Bernie Sanders uh, on the issue of audit the Fed and the unfairness of lending money to the banks at a quarter percent from the Federal Reserve, whereas the rest of us have to pay five or ten percent of the fractional reserve banking and all of the protection stripped away, the ability to leverage that money by a hundredfold. So you could literally, as a bank, if you had a million dollars, you could literally generate a million dollars a year interest off of every million dollars a year principal. Uh, so it was just a license to print money. And of course, Hillary Clinton has been deeply 
in the pockets of these people, most famously having uh, initially uh, posed a uh, consumer credit bill, uh, one of the biggest pieces of legislation in the early 2000s that Elizabeth Warren famously talked, I think, to Bill Moyers about saying that Hillary flipped after she became the uh, senator from New York, uh, a bill that made it very hard for people to file bankruptcy, a very cruel bill, one of many things that the Clintons have uh, shoved down our throats while appearing uh, fair, as in The Lord of the Rings, uh, when uh, uh, Frodo met Aragorn, he said some beings appear foul uh, but feel fair, and other beings appear fair while feeling foul. So don't give up hope. Let us fight to the end. But we may have to start another party, a progressive party. Uh, we may have to, uh, or carve out the, uh, reconfigure the Democratic or the Republican parties. Uh, but I personally am uh, deeply disgusted with both of these two uh, power structures. Uh, so let us carry on the good fight and let us realize we have the youth. The people that voted for Clinton will dry. Uh, and the people who voted for Sanders will grow stronger and mature. Uh, the future is ours. Good night and good luck.